Hello friends, this is Yogesh Gupta and in my this tutorial I'll show you how to create a Windows image file having both 64 bit as well as 32 bit operating system. So for this uh, following will be the requirement. First of all go to the Google and sorry and and type uh, windows all in one maker now this is the name of the software that we'll be using in order to merge the both the architecture uh, operating system so i'll go here and go to the products section and go to the downloads now once in download uh, scroll down and you will be getting windows all in one makeup professional so download it besides this uh, the other requirements for this are windows uh, image of 32 bit as well as 64 bit now in order to avoid the confusion i have uh, used uh, many folders like this folder is software that will merge the operating system this will be the 32 bit operating system file 64 bit operating system file and the similar but the extracted version of the image files uh, with respective 32 and 64 bit and here will be our final image file so in order to uh, uh, merge the file let's start the process first of all go to windows all in one software and run it just moment. now we can see that the console is open so first of all we'll yeah we'll convert the iso to the files so for that we'll select the 32 bit first of all and it's in desktop and 32 bit iso yeah and I want the extracted files to be in the 32 bit extracted folder. And after selecting folder, I'll click on extract. Now, note that this procedure may take some time, so kindly be patient. And since it's going to take some time, I'll pause the video temporarily. 32 bit ISO has been extracted successfully. Now, we'll repeat the process similarly for the 64 bit. ISO so once again I'll go to ISO 2 folder select the 64 bit ISO that is on desktop and Windows 7 64 bit operating system and yeah and finally I'll select the 64 bit extracted files folder for saving my target files there and I, once again I'll click on extract now again this process can take some time so one must be patient and besides uh, guys I also want to tell you that the version I am using is professional uh, with both 32 and 64 bit however there is a, a hitch that every edition uh, of windows has uh, all the other uh, editions like home, starter, ultimate and so on embedded inside it. So no matter whichever ISO you have, you can still get the ultimate version from it. So that's the biggest uh, advantage of using this method. Again successfully extracted the 64 bit uh, operating system. Now the reason why we have extracted the ISO to its constituent uh, files like see the 32 bit file system for the operating system as well as the 64 bit because we want the just a moment we require the sources um, because we require the install.wim file from both the file system that is for 32 bit as well as 64 bit so I close this for now and as you have seen that we have successfully extracted the ISOs here for 64 yeah now once again I'll open the software 
and this time I'll go to select WIMS the same file that I was talking about previously that is install.wim file now I'll go to my extracted folder for 32-bit OS uh, this folder I'll open it go to sources and select install.wim file now the moment I select it I get see different versions from it that is windows starter uh, 86 architecture home basics architecture home premium professional and so on that is in every edition you have this uh, but only the problem is that it's hidden so i'll similarly select the install.wim file for 64 bit architecture so i'll go there and go to sources and install.wim now as you can see I have a list of uh, all the operating systems now the only thing is that uh, if one wants to be selective for a particular version of operating system like if you need only ultimate you can just select the other uh, rest of and uh, click on delete image and it will get deleted but since I am creating an image for all the versions so I won't be deleting it so in that case I will just click on save all the changes now note that this process can take some time so we will be patient and I will pause the video temporarily uh, we will get a dialog box saying that uh, you want to clean all the configuration or CLG file to enable all in one feature we will click on yes and yeah, it's exporting and all tasks are completed now as we can see that all 86 and 64 have been integrated successfully together so now the only thing that remains is uh, converting it to ISO file so just click on save into ISO and just give it any enable when like all in one and select the destination and since I have created the folder specifically for the final ISO I'll go there and save it that is final integrated ISO and then save it uh, oh sorry I forgot to give it a name windows all in one edition something like that and then you can save it and just create the, an ISO by clicking make ISO now this process can take some time so once again I'll pause the video for time being. It has been created. We'll get a dialog saying that success creating all in one ISO in C users uh, the path which you have saved the ISO and the name of the ISO. Now, once that's over, click on OK and your process has been successfully completed. Now, the whole bunch of the operating system that are listed here are in your ISO so that's the iso which i have created in the final folder and that's all for my tutorial guys thank you for watching and in case if you have any queries please leave a comment below and i'll be ready to solve it yeah so that's all for my video thank you guys